Now what? Dennis! Gee, you are smart, Mr. Wilson. How'd you know it was me? Oh, who else would stick his foot through the roof of my tool shed? <laughs> Sweetheart, I think I'd better call the office and tell them to send someone else. Oh, honey, you can't do that. All I have is a little cold, and your trip's much too important for that. Hey, Dad! I'm bringing your suitcase down! Leave it alone, son. It's too heavy for you. No, it isn't! I've got a system! <laughs> Heavy, son. Oh, Dennis, how can you do such things? It's easy, Ma. Want me to do it again? No. no Dennis, that's not the kind of a man I can leave in charge of the house. You can't? No, you shouldn't have been fooling with my suitcase. But I was just trying to help. I know, son, but let's try and be a little more constructive in our help, huh? Uh, come on over here. Now, you know I'm going out of town on business today, and I'll be gone all night. Mother isn't feeling well, and I'm depending on you to take good care of her and see that she doesn't worry about a thing. I will, Dad. Okay. Now, I've called the employment agency, and they're sending a woman over here to clean up the house and fix your dinner. I'll just put the money right here. Gee, is that all for her? Yes, Dennis. Mr. Wilson said he'd be around in case of an emergency. Oh, honey, all I have is a little cold and a slight headache. Now, stop worrying. It isn't serious. Well, I, I just don't feel right about leaving you alone. Oh. She won't be alone. She's got me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, darling. As long as you promise, as soon as I've left, you'll scat up to bed. <laughs> promise. You'll be in charge of the house while I'm gone. Think you can handle it? Sure, Dad. You won't have to worry. Any old burglars try to get in this house, I'll buck one. How <laughs> do you do that? Remember, you're the man of the house. I'll be back as soon as I can, darling. <clears throat> now, woman, off to bed. <laughs> All right. Drive carefully. <laughs> okay. Bye, Dad. Dennis! Hello, young man. Good morning, miss. Is your mother at home? She is our mother. I don't believe it. You're not Mrs. Mitchell, Mrs. Henry Mitchell. Well, the Browns told me you were very young and pretty. She's not so young. She's going to be... Dennis. Oh, children, what would we do without them? I'm Alastair St. Clair. Perhaps Mrs. Brown called you about me? Well, I don't think I know any Mrs. Brown. Well, they are rather new in the neighborhood, I believe. But she knows you, and she was so thrilled with her lovely gift that she wanted you to share her good fortune. No, thank you. Now, Mrs. Mitchell, I'm not selling anything. I'm giving you the opportunity to have a lovely dinner party in your own home with your own selection of eight guests catered by a magnificent chef with a corps of trained helpers serving a seven-course dinner complete from hors d'oeuvre to after-dinner mints at absolutely no cost or obligation to you. No, thank you. And for your courtesy in inviting eight of your friends into your home to participate in our sales demonstration, you will be given absolutely free at no cost or obligation a beautiful gift of our Plastiflex, no scorch, no burn, freezer to oven to table dinnerware. No, thank you. Break yourself of the hot kitchen. <laughs> Thank you! Oh. Jeepers, Mom, it sounded like a bargain to me. Dennis, dear, I'm in no mood for bargains. All I want to do is get to bed. My head hurts. Hey, Mrs. Mitchell! Dennis, come outside! Oh, why doesn't that cleaning woman get here? Dennis, go out and tell them you can't play now, dear. Okay, Mom. Hey, you guys! Don't make too much noise! Anything to eat? Maybe. My dad had to go away on business, and I'm in full charge around here. Boy, that chicken sure looks good. Mm. I gotta go answer the doorbell, because 
when my dad's away, I'm the man of the house. Hi. I'm Miss Rafferty. The agency sent me. Where's your mother? She's in bed. She's got a headache. Huh. Must be nice to be rich. Good morning. Are you from the agency? They didn't tell me it was this far out. I had to change buses two times. I'm sorry. They didn't tell me it was a two-story house, neither. I ain't lugging no vacuum up and down them stairs. But there really won't be very much to do, Mrs. Rafferty. In fact, you don't have to worry about the upstairs at all. If you just straighten up a little bit downstairs, well, that'll be fine. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going back up to bed. I'm not feeling very well. You got anything contagious? Uh, nothing serious, just a cold. Well, all right, just so long as I don't have to go upstairs. Thank you. Hey, you already had two pieces. No, I did it! Hi! Hi! This is Miss Rafferty. She's gonna clean up the house. <laughs> oh, no, she isn't. I ain't cleaning up no house with an upstairs and a downstairs and contagious diseases and a dozen kids. <laughs> for somebody else. Oh, no, Tommy. If I tell her Miss Rafferty's gone, she'll worry. And that's the one thing my dad doesn't want, for Mom to worry. I gotta find some friend, some pal. Goodbye, Dennis. <laughs> hey, Tommy, aren't you gonna help me? Uh-uh. I'll keep in my busted airplane and my goldfish bowl. I can't, Dennis. I gotta go before that old Margaret catches up to us. Hey, Tommy. You just gave me a good idea. Margaret, this is Dennis. You got any new comics? Well, if you let me read them and promise not to tell the kids, I'll let you come over and play house. <laughs> you mean I get to clean a whole house? Just the downstairs. <laughs> well, goodness knows. There's enough to do right here. Everything is simply filthy. Where's your dishwasher? She's in bed. <laughs> Silly, I mean the electric one. Well, the only dishwasher we got in this house is good old mom. Well, when you get a raise, that's the first thing we're going to buy. There, there, baby. Go to your daddy. Say that again or I'll fuck you! <laughs> Do you want to play house or don't you? Okay. Bubble the baby. Wash is done. 
then you can hang it out while I back you to the front row. Jeepers! <gasps> practically gone. All I needed was a little rest. You don't come downstairs, you'll get sick again. No, I just wanted to make sure everything was all right. Oh, you are staying out of Mrs. Rafferty's way, aren't you? You don't need to worry about that, Mom. Oh, you might ask her if she's not too busy. The kitchen floor could stand a scrubbing. Oh, you don't need to worry about that either, Mom. You're going to have the cleanest floor in town. <laughs> okay. Jeepers! I guess maybe this is an emergency. My goodness, Dennis Mitchell, the least you could do is get help before me and the baby drown. I'm going for Mr. Wilson! Great Scott! <laughs> Nobody's supposed to yell, Mr. Wilson. Because my poor old mom's got a headache. If I were your poor old mom, I'd have a headache every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Margaret, what are you doing here? Dennis and I got married. You did not. You better stop saying that. We did too. <laughs> we were just pretending. Besides, you promised not to tell anybody. <laughs> suds all over the place. <laughs> uh, of course I'm your friend, my dear. But why don't you be a good little girl and run along home? That's just what I'm going to do. And I'm never, ever going to marry you again, Dennis Mitchell. Not even if I turn into an old man. <laughs> curtains ourselves. Iron? Me? Sure, Mr. Wilson. Somebody's got to iron them. Because if I tell Mom, she'll come downstairs and she'll really have a headache. How do I get myself into these things? <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> I don't know why women make such a fuss about ironing. <laughs> the trouble with women, Dennis, they don't match. Don't match what? Each other. How come women are supposed to match? Oh, not women, Dennis. The curtains. Oh, now, I could have sworn they measured the same when I put them on the rod. Oh, I thought you meant women. That was a good joke on me, huh, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> Mr. Wilson. Oh, don't bother me now, Dennis. I'm sick. You need a slide rule to figure these things out. My mom says... Oh, please, Dennis. My mom says it's important that... All right, what's important? My mom says it's very important that you never leave a hot iron lying on top of anything. Oh! <laughs> oh, great Scott. And that's the one that... Jeepers, you sure are in trouble now, Mr. Wilson. Those are my mom's best curtains. I'll buy her some new ones. My mom had to run all over town buying those curtains, and they were the last ones. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Hey, I've got an idea, Mr. Wilson. Why don't we cut out the burned place? No, oh, it shows. Those are very fat curtains. Well, yes. Yes, it might work at that. Well, temporarily, at least. <laughs> you know, Dennis, sometimes you're smart beyond your years. Yeah, it's a very good idea. That's 
that's why my dad made me the man of the house. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Would you like me to bring you anything else, Mom? Not a thing, dear. But after I take my nap, I'm going to enjoy some of that cold chicken for dinner. <laughs> Sheepers. <laughs> is all nice and clean. Now you try and keep it nice and clean for your mom. I will, Mr. Wilson. Hello? Is this the Mitchell residence? Yes, it is. I'm the gentleman who called on your mother earlier. How is she? Oh, she's fine. I'm the man who puts on the free dinners. You are? Yes. Uh, we had an unexpected cancellation, and I wonder if she would reconsider and let me put on a dinner for her tonight. Would you ask her to come to the phone? Well, uh, she's upstairs and can't come down right now. Well, I hate to see all this food go to waste. Tell her if she can't get eight other friends in for dinner tonight, I'll settle for five. Is that all we have to do? <laughs> That's right. We'll have eight friends here for you, all right. Just come on over, mister. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, you tell Mrs... What's her name, Rafferty? You mean the lady who cooked the dinner? Yes. She said to call her Annie. Well, you tell her the dinner was simply delicious. Much better than that leftover chicken. <laughs> oh, I haven't had such a good vacation in years. My mom said the dinner was simply delicious. Glad she enjoyed it. Too bad she had to miss her own party. Mr. St. Clair said we were supposed to have eight people. And that's what we've got, all right. Is he coming over? Later. Then he makes the sales pitch about the Plastiflex dinnerware. When they're ready for us in there, just tell them to ring the bell. We're ready any time you are. <laughs> sitting on low chairs. <laughs> I can't wait to see St. Clair's face. It's no skin off our nose. We get paid by the week. <laughs> well. <clears throat> My dad? them up, you ought to know. Tough, huh? Doesn't matter. The tougher they are to sell, the better I operate. <laughs> Mr. St. Clair, I've got a feeling that this isn't going to be your night. Oh, shame on you trying to destroy his confidence. Why, you know Mr. St. Clair's our top salesman. He never misses. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Wilson. Come on in. Join the party. I, I brought a little supper over for you and your mother, Dennis. It isn't much. Well, we've got plenty of dinner, Mr. Wilson. Well, what's all this? I, mean? well, I don't understand. It's the Plastiflex folks, Mr. Wilson. They give you a free dinner if you invite eight friends. Aren't they swell? Oh, no. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you've all enjoyed your dinner prepared and served in our no scotch. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Freezer to oven to table, plaster flex dinnerware, delicious meals in a jiffy. Help your wife break the hot kitchen habit. Why make her a slave to old-fashioned cooking methods? <laughs> Alice. A fuse blew out? Oh, why, that's the simplest thing in the world, Alice. I'll be right over. Sheepers, Mom, you didn't have to bother Mr. Wilson. Remember, I'm the man of the house. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I guess in all the excitement, I just sort of forgot you were in charge. will happen no matter how careful one tries to be. <laughs> Mom, here's a present I got you. <laughs> Plastiflex dinnerware. I got ours absolutely free. But good old Mr. Wilson bought some from Mrs. Wilson. And all he got back from a $20 bill was two cents change. <laughs> that reminds me, Dad. Here's your change. My change from what? From the poor working woman. All she wanted was a car fare. Yes, I manage pretty good, huh? You can leave me in charge any time. I make a good man of the house. Huh, Mom? Huh, Dad? <laughs> you certainly do. Oh, no! <laughs> Look at my brand new curtains. They're ruined. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what possessed me to cut them up. <laughs> I hoped you wouldn't notice. You cut them up, Mr. Wilson? It was just as much my fault as it was good old Mr. Wilson's. I told him to. Well, I, I shouldn't have listened. But I just couldn't leave them the way they were. Why not? Well, because you weren't feeling well and... Oh, what's the use? Believe me, it would take 24 hours just to tell you what's happened in the last eight. <laughs> if you like, I'll pay for the curtains. I was only trying to help. Hey, you know something? Good old Mr. Wilson sounds just like me. <laughs> I do? Jeepers. Great Scott! <laughs> oh,
has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.